Hello there and welcome to a Spider-Man No Way Home set review. So as you can see, this is Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. So there you can see everything that's included in the set. And then if we turn this around, there we can see the back of the box with some more of the features of the set. So um, yeah, now let's go ahead and get this thing opened and take a look. So there is the completed Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop set. So we've got the Sanctum Workshop of course there with all the minifigures and then we've also got this big scorpion thing here. Now I don't think this is going to be in the movie and if it is it's probably going to be some kind of demon from another dimension that Doctor Strange probably fights off very easily just to kind of introduce him to the movie. But um, yeah as you can see it's got these two big arms here with these uh, scorpion claws on it um, so yeah and they are all on mixel joints very big chunky shoulders there and you can see it's got this head here which can rotate around it's got the Baraki eyes there in green so that's pretty cool that is a sticker up there on there to give it some detail and of course the head can move up and down like so and then it has got this big kind of neck there which is on a ratchet joint and that can move up and down forwards and backwards like so and then finally you can see it's got these six legs here with the green vines there so you can move those up and down to kind of uh, walk this thing around and um, yeah then you can see we've got some pieces here to kind of add a little bit of a tail to it kind of add some detailing there and then two small little claws at the front there so uh, yeah that is it for the little scorpion um, it's just a cool kind of thing that you can fight off um, if you want to and uh, yeah, it kind of adds some drama to the set, but it probably won't be in the movie, but it is a pretty cool build, and that is it for the little scorpion. So yeah, and of course we have got the main set itself here. This is the Sanctum Workshop. We'll take a quick look at the minifigures first of all. So first up we have got Spider-Man. This is the integrated suit. And now as you can see, he does come with two of these big web pieces, which are pretty cool. They are nice builds like so. And as you can see, it does come with the kind of web booster pack thing included in the set. So you can take apart these web pieces and build them however you want. So you can kind of have this web kind of spraying out to kind of attach to a wall or something. And uh, yeah, you can just do what you want with the extra pieces that they give you in the web pack. And yeah, so you get two of those with Spider-Man. These are kind of the basic setup for them, but you can build them however you want to and uh, yeah as for spider-man himself as you can see he has got the red and black suit there with bits of gold on it presumably from the iron spider um, this is of course the integrated suit so you can see the leg printing and the torso print I believe that's the same face as the CMF spider-man face the zombie hunter spider-man there's no print on the arms sadly um, which would have been cool to get and as you can see he does come with dual molded legs and then there is the back printing which does look very very cool so yeah that is the spider-man integrated suit in this set the only way to get him and yeah that's pretty cool and it's a nice nice figure and the dual molded legs definitely help make this a lot better so yeah that is it for spider-man next up we have got dr strange dr stephen strange as you can see he's got the eye of agamotto there for some reason um, well, probably find out what that's all about in the next Doctor Strange movie but uh, yeah they can see his new face print new torso and new legs this is a completely new minifigure from the last one we saw and of course the cape is this rubber cape now which just kind of attaches over the neck like so and you can pull that off without taking the head off so that is one bonus to this so then there you can see all of his back printing and the hair piece there and then his second face which does look quite angry so uh, yeah I do wish they used the hair that he had in the Infinity War set, I think that worked a lot better for him. But um, yeah, it's still got the printing on there for the size of the hair. And then of course we have got the Cloak of Levitation here. So this is now all one piece rather than just the standard cape piece. As you can see, it is rubber and it kind of allows you to keep the cloak's kind of main form when it is off of the um, minifigure. So that is cool but of course it is rubber so there is no flow to this it is purely static so I guess it's up to you whether you want to how you want to use this I think it does have a lot of benefits as well as a lot of um, negatives to it but uh, yeah that is pretty much it for it it's just a 
solid red rubber cape and it can attach things into the head like so um, so yeah you can kind of fly around with things attached in and attack things but uh, yeah and then as you can see you can just simply attach it back on a minifigure without having to remove their head so yeah that is one bonus to this and it means you can just easily pull this off and then you can put it on any minifigure you like so that we can have Spider-Man, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man um, really easily there so yeah that is it for um, Doctor Strange and the Cloak of Levitation and then the next minifigure we have got here is Wong as you can see this is the first time Wong has appeared in a set the only other way to get him was through the Infinity War Bricktober pack you can see his torso and leg print he's got the kind of jacket on there because it is winter and you can see his face print and the hair then there you can see his back printing and there is sadly no second face on this which would have been nice to get I think having an angry Wong face would have been suitable for this given what happened in the trailer but um, yeah that is it for Wong pretty simple but a very cool minifigure to get and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be glad to get him and then the final minifigure we have is MJ so there you can see her pretty basic um, no leg printing there is the torso print but yeah pretty accurate to the movie I think and you can see the long brown hair there which is pretty cool and the face print taking that off we can see her second face where she looks a bit confused and the back print and then there is the back of her hair which looks very nice indeed so yeah that is it for all the minifigures of this Sanctum workshop set now we can take a look at the whole thing itself and we are going to start down here in this corner of the Sanctum so as you can see we've got this big chest here first of all with these giant green tentacles coming out so I wonder what that's all about probably another creature attacking and then inside this you do get some gems and I've just thrown in some of the spare pieces as well um, just for extra storage so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah you can just put the tentacle monster in there and then attach it back onto the plate like that but if we just move that out of the way for a minute we can see some more of the stuff that's on those shelves there as you can see we've got this camera here some crystals and stuff a toolbox and then up on the top here we've got this egg and this little thing and these things and then in the back right there you can see we've got this small little lamp and next to the computer we've got a little radio stereo and a sun timer there is a cookie and a mug next to the computer and then there you can see what is on the computer we've got some stuff with Mysterio there and we do get this chair which can swivel around and so you can kind of sit someone on there so you can have Wong kind of um, researching what's going on but uh, yeah that's it for this corner of the little sanctum build moving around to the back we can see we've just got some kind of rocks built up around this thing and in the back there as well as you can see we've got this little section that kind of sticks out the back um, so that's kind of providing more of a wall that you could imagine would kind of continue on around this whole thing through this little entranceway and you can see we've got a spider up at the top there there is a scorpion down here and then we can see what's actually in that wall as you can see we've just got a golden figure there and then another crystal up here so yeah they're kind of just built into the wall and then we've got this little bowl thing and there is more rocks around the back of this and you can see we've got this chi crystal here with this really cool kind of crystal on top that's a very cool mold um, so yeah you'll see more of that around the front and then moving around the front there we can see what is on this other wall so we've got a big tool station with all the little tools there you can see the other side of that rock there with the pink crystals kind of showing through as you can see we've got this barrel here now inside that there is just some more crystals as you can see and then as you can see we've got this drawer here the top one just has a little thing in it like so and then the bottom one has more things in it so you can see we've got a yellow syringe and then that silver kind of tool there got a golden cup back there and then we've got this small red sofa here with a video game console on it and then next to that we've got this golden kind of candle there with the three candlesticks so that's pretty cool and then we can finally see the back wall there with all the stickers on that and it's kind of like a um, just a hole in the wall that you can walk through to get to another room so yeah and of course that that kind of other room is implied by this you can kind of imagine that 
going all the way around. And you kind of wish you could kind of um, move this in, you could push this to kind of close up the gap and you could kind of push it out to make more space but um, it's not too big of a problem because of how this thing sits. Um, this little section that can't move is, as you can see, in line with the other section and it is also not longer than that so it doesn't really make any difference when you've kind of got this sat in a corner somewhere because of course it is kind of built for a corner like so so it doesn't really impact that which is one big bonus that I and I was worried that it would kind of impact that so that's good and then finally you can see we just got this blue bike hanging up here you can pull that off and use it if you want to it just sticks in the wall like so so um, yeah that is it for the Sanctum workshop set pretty cool and you can see we've got a web there and um, yeah, now I guess we can get on to the ratings for the set. So yeah, overall I think this is a very good set. You get some great minifigures, the build is pretty cool. The scorpion thing that you can fight is a pretty cool addition. Even though it's probably not accurate, but we'll, I guess we will see when the movie comes out next week. Um, but yeah, all in all, very good set. It's nice that we get Doctor Strange again and in a nice cheap set again. Um, of course the inclusion of Wong is also a bonus. Nice Spider-Man suit and it's also nice that we get MJ. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. And just taking a quick look at the instructions here. As you can see, there is the front of those. We do open them up and you get a kind of digital building instructions if you want to use those. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, it's there if you want to. And then in the back, we have got an advertisement for some more Marvel sets there. So we've got the little mini mechs and then the Avengers Endgame sets from the Infinity Saga. So uh, yeah, that is it for the review of the Sanctum Workshop and I will see you again very soon.